Today we are at the Backyard Brawl. West Virginia and Pitt have been battling it out since 1895, and there is some deep-rooted hatred between the two schools. The, Mountaineers. the 14th oldest rivalry is also widely regarded as one of the most underrated rivalries in all of college football. One major factor being the proximity of the two schools. The biggest rivalries in college football between Ohio State, Michigan, and Alabama, Auburn are both 150 miles away from one another. This is what makes the backyard brawl so special. Morgantown and Pittsburgh are just 75 miles away from each other, a quick one and a half hour drive. So we will be getting a very mixed crowd today, which could lead to some sparks flying. It yeah. means everything. We'll be showing the full experience of this heated rivalry from the Pitt campus, tailgates, the game, and more. And with everything we've heard, there's a good chance this could be one of the craziest experiences we've ever seen. We're in the Steel City. This is Snapback Saturdays, our journey to find the greatest experience in college football. Friday before the big game is an incredible feeling. The energy, the buzz, the excitement. So we're going to go get an unofficial tour, check it out for ourselves. And this is going to be a huge component in our final rankings. Not only Friday, but what does the school look like the night before the game? So what's the deal about the cathedral? It's the largest building in the United States. That's not possible. On a college campus. On a college campus. It's all. pretty. I couldn't give a flying f that it's the biggest on campus. Probably. Okay, what's cooler? That or I took classes in the Texas football stadium. That's so much cooler. Even though I couldn't see the stadium, it was just in a classroom. So much cooler. Are these statues? Yep. Yeah. The Panthers nose for good luck. Yeah, there you go. Gambling luck or? I think you get to pick your luck. So, uh... Um, he looks like he's gonna pass out. He's good? Oh, he might. Okay. He smiled, he smiled. <laughs> Tim, you think you could get him? No. He, he looks locked yeah, in. Yeah, he's locked in. Nothing's happening to this Panther with this guy on duty. Jordan Addison told us to pull up here, said this is a spot to get. Big Shot Bob's wings. He suggested the steel... Well, did he really tell us? Like, did he really... What do you mean? He messaged us. What's messaged you. Well, it was like, oh yeah, we ran into him and it was like. I did not link up with Jordan Addison this morning. He's in Minnesota. They have a game this weekend. We're in Pittsburgh. We have a game this weekend. We're a big shot, Bob, so let's give it a try. It tastes pretty much exactly as you would think, as it looks, really good. To me, it's a perfect crunch and like softness. Do you feel comfortable sh on it if it wasn't? Or are you scared? <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Well, I'm kind of scared. I'll call it how it is. It's re that's really good. Should I be rocking pit gear tomorrow? I mean, I'm going to. Okay, okay. James Conner. Pick it. You're still rocking pick it. And Donald? Yeah. What do you think so far? It's really good. It's really good. I also thought that was someone the whole time. <laughs> I'm looking for a polo. Number one. And then I'm looking for an exotic polo. Apparently tomorrow is a, is a blue out. That'll, that'll look perfect. I, I hate collar outs. This one's just on me. He's so miserable. So we're, we're all going to wear the same color. Go team. So dumb. <laughs> That's so stupid. Next stop on our Pitt College Tour, AKA our attempt to make Tim happy in any sort of way or appreciate anything. You see the 436 foot sign. This is the old wall of the old Pirate Stadium is in the middle of Pitt's campus. Thoughts? That's really cool. Right? That's so much cooler than the stupid f Friday before the backyard brawl, campus is buzzing, beautiful time to be a college student. What's, what's missing? Not one person is throwing a football. At least no one's throwing a fucking frisbee, but no one's throwing a football. You're anti frisbee? That. Okay. One thing Tim does love is when you hit that subscribe button because when you subscribe, you have a chance to come to the national championship with us this year. Tim, it's game day. How are you feeling? I feel great. I feel tremendous. It's not feeling that way from behind the camera. I need a little more energy from you. Because you're in bed. <laughs> what? That's so wild. I would be a. We've officially set odds at even on Tim getting arrested at I've, some point. I'm not getting arrested on the college tour. Open container on an interstate highway. That's just college ball. Imagine thinking the NFL is better than this. Stop back. What's up? Let's go. Good. How are you? Go. Thank you. Yeah, slap it. You were going to suck that like it was a nipple. It was hard to get a hold of it. It was, uh... That was a hell of a performance. I'm not very experienced. How are we feeling? We're up. Oh. <laughs> 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 the Mountaineers. 
Welcome. Uh, look, the camera, you know, it puts the bright lights on. You get a little nervous. Been drinking all day, but he got that. He got that. You think he, he's been drinking? You think he could do an interview? No. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. We're here with Big Jim on game day. First thing, if you had to give a pump up speech for this game, the backyard brawl, what would you say to the team in the locker room right now? You got 15 seconds. Narduzzi said it before the Penn State game in 2016, and it needs to be reiterated today. They don't respect us, and they're going to find out today. Whoa. They're going to find out. Okay, okay. I'm not a big pump up guy, but I mean, this is the backyard brawl. Why do you think this game gets 70,000 people? It exactly. means everything. Everything to Pittsburgh and to Morgantown. You will become a legend. It meant Jay Devonshire. He basically got drafted off this with the pit six. This is where you make your name. Listen, I would say when these two teams meet, you throw out the record books. Mm. All right? It's a two point spread. We're going to go out there. We're going to kick their ass for four straight quarters, 60 minutes. I'm not feeling the juice. Are we going to kick their ass? Dude, we're going to kick their ass. There we go. Let's kill them, boys. WVU. Bob. You think that's it and get him going? That's it. All right, I'll get him going. Let's go pit, baby. Can you say one nice thing about West Virginia? One nice thing about West Virginia is that I'm from the South, so I respect that they're from the South, okay? Okay. I can't. I'm not sorry. I, not even one. You suck, WVU. That's all I got to say. One positive thing about West Virginia. Oh no! All right, there we go. No! Pat McAfee sniffs kids! Pat McAfee sniffs kids! If you could add one former pit player to this current team, who would you pick? Given how the defense looked, I would add Aaron Donald right now. I would add Aaron Donald. Yes, absolutely. I would add Aaron Donald right now. Aaron Donald, easy. He would wreck the game. Who would you take? Kenny Biggin. It's gotta be Kenny Biggin. That's Kenny Biggin. No, no. Aaron Donald, Darrell Reed. No, Kenny Biggin. Kenny Biggin. He's my guy. He's my guy. Really? He's my guy. Wow. My guy. Okay. My guy. Someone say Kenny Pickett. Do you agree with that? Good. No! Damar Hamlin, I'd say. Damar Hamlin. I love that. I gotta say it, dude. Shout he had out a big DeMar. game. Shout I'm out Damar. Damar! What about Dan Marino? I kind of like how Holstein's looking so far. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's, that's like the biggest college football fan thing ever. It's like, Dan Marino or this kid that's played two games. Our boy Alex is getting on the phone what seems like will be the best representative of Pitt education. We're going to 16 college games. Okay. So you're the representative of Pitt. Oh, you are representing all of West Virginia right now. Okay. We're keeping a ranking of the smartest school we go to. Okay. No pressure though, I don't got you. All right, I got 10 questions for you. A lot of pressure, man. A lot of pressure. Question number one. What language do they speak in Brazil? Portuguese. Portuguese. Question number two, can you tell me who this is? Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman. Bang. Question number three, can you tell me what flag this is? Belgium. Belgium. Yes. Three for three. Four, what letter represents potassium on the periodic table? K. K. Yes. What time is it on this clock? 2.50. Yes. 2.50. Bang. Did you bring in a ringer? Square root of 144. 12. 12. Yes. Question number seven, what's the main ingredient in hummus? Chickpeas. Bang. I don't eat hummus. I have no. Uh, Chickpeas? Would, would you have gone there? No. No? All right. Can you spell definitely? D E F. Yup. I N T E L Y. You missed an I. Okay. D E F. Yup. I e N I T E L Y. Bang. Ah, shoot. Too quick. It's all right. It's all right. Too quick. My fault. My fault. Which state did the Boston Tea Party take place in? Massachusetts. Massachusetts. What is the Pitt Stadium called? To most people, it's always going to be Heinz Field, but I guess officially it's Akershire Stadium. Akershire Stadium. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Very impressive. Thank you, man. Great job. Oh, come on, brother. Yeah, I smelled one wrong. That's unbelievable. After checking out Pitt's tailgate scene, it was time to head into the stadium and onto the field. Are we getting a grass tasting today? I can't get over. Can I get over there? Am I allowed or not? It's right here. It's turf. All right, so pull some turf out. I gotta eat turf? Yeah, you gotta eat turf. You gotta give a taste test everywhere we go. Isn't that like cancerous? You only live once, right? You don't have to eat it, but just like get the taste buds going. It smells like a uh, mediocre quarterback play at the professional level. <laughs> What's up, boys? How we feeling? How we feeling, dog? How we feeling? That's all you got? It's a K-ball. I refuse to throw this. I'm not getting that on the camera. K-ball? <laughs> he has this reputation to uphold. I'm because... sorry, it's a K-ball. But we have footage of you flipping with a mini ball. Oh, this is what he needs. Zoom in. QB. <laughs> All 
That just screams over 64 and a half. I want a guy loose, fine with the environment, just dialed the Not turf, grass. Taste test number two. Proper review. Oh, this looks so good. Oh yeah. No, it's so good. Do you want a piece? Oh, it's a, that's an eight, nine. It's really good grass. It's so good. One of the greatest rivalries in college football history, the 107th edition of the Backyard Crawl. It's Pitt versus West Virginia. Green to throw, swings it out, CJ Donaldson! And the touchdown! He looks toward the end zone. Holstein fires, and it's caught by Reed! Holstein avoids the rush, throws for the end zone, and it is caught! with the kick on its way, and Mike Hayes drills it, and this game's tied at 17. Champions Club's Pitt Stadium food review. The first item is the monthly sandwich of the steak sandwich with brie cheese, chimichurri, onion rings. It actually looks fantastic, $16. No, that's the good stuff. Hand me my crab cake, sir. Do I get to eat this now? Yeah, that, yeah have a bite. How good does that look? Ah, oh my god. Serve and derp. Serve and derp. Now we got the crab cake sandwich, also 16 bucks. Value Town, USA. As someone from Maryland, it's tough to impress me with the crab cake. The crab cake's pretty solid. But give me this. I feel like Corso with the headgear. This could be top five all time. Banger. I'll give it the full score after I've digested, thought about it, back in the studio. Hit that subscribe button for more. Do you, did you guys follow real sports? I heard you talk yes. about it. Yes! We were standing right there and I heard you talking about it. During halftime, we always go to meet up with our Snapback fam that is at that game. And if you want to meet us, be sure to come through when we are at a game near you this season. We've made it to the Pitt team store. And because we saved $36 with C-Club for today's game, I'm giving the intern 30 seconds to find the best item in there for $36 or less. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. The only way I go to the game is with C-Club. And they're taking down big ticketing along the way. $90 for a polo? They have absolutely zero fees on their tickets thanks to their annual membership. You want to get that for $36? Well, I'm not going to overpay. You pay $99 for the entire year or $79 with code SNAPBACK or by hitting the link down in the description. And you will never pay fees again for 365 days. What's the Fitzgerald? Well, Tim, it's a little late now. We have 36 on the dot. I plan on saving over $5,000 using C-Club going to games and concerts this year, and you can too. So why were you mute when we had 30 seconds to find the best item? Because I have poise. You don't. We, the, the, the clock's I, I, over. I walked right in, and you were like, bip, 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 and I'm like, beelined it right here. I acknowledge your strategy may have been better than mine. Again, let's backtrack. Why didn't you say anything? You were, you were like, oh, this material. Like I just was like, oh, Casey knows more than me, clearly. But... Not. Go use code SNAPBACK now. Now let's see what the intern got me. $35, no tax? This so is a good buy. There was a little, a little bit of a blunder, but we landed on a great buy with $35. Would you agree? Yeah, I it, agree. I love Larry Fitz. Sure yeah, I'm cooked. I thought, I thought that was a current player. Yeah. Like actually flustered. You're the quarterback that's like, good call, Timbo. <laughs> Go, go, go! 
Let's go back to the studio to rate this experience. It's gonna be a high one. I don't like when the home team wins. We've made it back to the studio. It's time to give our first Snapback Saturdays experience score. We're looking for the greatest college football experience in all of the land. And we're starting with the backyard brawl. That fans and atmosphere got a 6.8. Sitting across from the student section was very cool. We got to see how rowdy the student section itself was, but around the stadium, West Virginia pretty much had an entire side of the stadium, which as a home team, that's what happens when you play in the Steelers stadium. You lose a little bit of those core fans. So overall, good atmosphere, not great atmosphere. In the food category, we landed on an 8.3. I actually had this up at an 8.8. .8. This was some of the best food that I've ever had at a stadium. Now I will caveat that this was in the end zone club. And you can check the description down below for our rankings of every game we've ever been to, 100 plus. And you can see Pittsburgh stadium food is not that good. So make sure to remember if you're going to the stadium, maybe don't count on the Primanti Bros in the concourse, but the end zone food is fantastic. Next category is uniqueness, which gets a 6.2. We got to go on the field pregame. We sat in the end zone club, and this was a pretty big rivalry, but a rivalry you can get to now that they've brought it back every single year. So more unique than a regular college football game, but nothing like an Aer Lingus in Dublin. Yeah, I think the fact that they play this rivalry early in the season does take a little bit of juice out of it. And the final category gets a 6.7. Now, this is a new final category for Snapback Saturdays specifically we've replaced the city with the campus and we were on Pitt's campus on Friday they had the cathedral they had a little bit of that rah rah that's not rah rah a little bit of that rah rah energy you could feel it in the air and it felt great to be back on a college campus the stadium is the Steelers stadium so not too high not too low and then of course the gameplay was fantastic coming down from 10 down with just a few minutes left to play we really got an all-time backyard brawl after talking about it maybe needs to be a little higher but Accra sure just is not that amazing stadium very run-of-the-mill below average stadium nothing special at all drum roll please <laughs> our first snapback Saturday score is a 6.9 out of 10 I think a very strong rating to start off snapback Saturdays do I think it will be beat throughout the season I yes. do but if you guys hit the subscribe button we're taking one of you to the national championship all expenses paid flights Hotels, game tickets, hang food, with, hang with me, the intern, March. and Tim. Whoa, 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 we don't <laughs> want to promise too much here, but we will be bringing one of you to the game, and a 6.9 is a strong score out of the gate.